Hello everyone, this is myself and I'm going to be sharing a book called The Mouse Before Christmas, which is similar to The Night Before Christmas, except from a mouse's point of view. And it's written by Michael Garland. On the night before Christmas, there was a young mouse who was stirring and whirling all through the house. He longed to see Santa, that jolly old soul, so he stayed awake late and then crept from his hole. Out in the kitchen, Mouse stacked up a treat. Chocolate chip cookies for Santa to eat. He made not a sound as he hurried and scurried, but Puss was asleep, so he didn't, needn't have worry. Now on the fireplace, Mouse gave a sigh. Though the cookies were heavy, he held the plate high. Next, where to hide? Mouse looked around quick. Snug in a pot, he could spy on Saint Nick. Mouse waited and wondered and almost dozed off until hoofbeats and sleigh bells came from aloft. From out of the fireplace, bang, crash, and tumble, popped merry old Nick in a heap and a jumble. Mouse was delighted. He wished his wish had come true. But what now, he wondered. What more could he do? As Nick stuffed the stockings, which started to sag, Mouse tippy-toed for a peek in his bag. Soon Santa was done. Time to hurry away. He snatched up his sack and sprang out to his sleigh. With a swoosh and a whish, Mouse was bundled inside. But down in the darkness was no place to ride. It's stuffy. It's crowded, Mouse started to shout. And he squeezed and wiggled and scrambled to find a way out. He soon spied a place to poke his head free. Then beheld all around him sights splendid to see. He was high above earth in the winter night sky streaking past stars in a sleigh that could fly. Mouse loved this new feeling, and when he looked down, far distant below shone the lights of his town. On to rooftops down chimneys, old Santa did race. Mouse marveled the reindeer could keep up the pace. They soared past high mountains, skimmed low near a river. The twist, dips, and turns set his tummy a quiver. Over bridges and castles and towers they flew. The rooftops of London gave Mouse a great view. Thrilling sights waited in each foreign land. In Holland, the windmills by moonlight looked grand. Mouse had never imagined a world so wide. He lost count of the wonders he'd seen on this ride. Crossing cities and countries over desert and sea, past the Sphinx and two towers, and Miss Liberty. At the end of the night, at the very last house, Santa peeked in his sack. Why, what's that? A young mouse. Mouse was so startled, he feared he'd just squeak. But in Santa's kind gaze, he found he could speak. Oh, Santa, I'm sorry for sneaking this ride, but your bag was so tempting, I climbed right inside. Santa just chuckled. Oh, little friend, don't you worry. Hop on my hat. You'll be home in a hurry. Mouse clung to the fringe. The wind chilled his face. 
The rocket-like sleigh zoomed and hurtled through space. Back home safe and sound, there were presents for all. The one my mouse liked best was a hat marked size small. Then Santa crouched down till his beard touched the floor. The friends waved goodbye through the little front door. It was so late at night, Mouse was ready for bed, but he wanted to try his new hat on his head. It was just the right size, not too big, not too small. A hat just like Santa. Mouse felt so proud and tall. Mouse snuggled down, letting dreams fill his eyes, hearing words meant for him from a voice deep and wise. If you do all the things that a good mouse should do, don't be surprised when your wishes come true. Merry Christmas, dear, dear mouse. Merry Christmas to you. The end.